Minnesota looking to stay on the heels of New Orleans for home field in the NFC with a win against Seattle. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Hey, Glad to be with you on the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any ties your Seahawks on the road at Minnesota. And Pat, mm -hmm. we're seeing a star develop this season at wide receiver for the Vikings, and that's Sidney Rice. What is his level? Is he at that elite level of receivers? Uh, he's pushing himself towards it, and Brett Favre's pushing him towards it. If you really think about it, and I talked to Childress about this many times, Brett Favre is with that kid day and night, working on his routes, working on his adjustments. Well, how do you convert a slant route to a fade route? All those things. And then when you put that together with his physical ability, he's at 17 yards a catch. The guy has a chance. He has Randy Moss physical qualities, and he's on his way to being that kind of player. If Brett comes back next year, he'll be rock salad for the quarterback after that. If he comes back next year, I just hope it's in, in you know, can you just give us June? Don't make us wait till no, August. Just give us I June. I told the Vikings to move camp to Mississippi. But that, that, that would work. <laughs> that too. high school he likes to work at. Let me ask you this. The Seahawks are in the bottom quarter yes. of the NFL in terms of passing touchdowns allowed. They've given up 14. Are we talking about a Favre field day here today? I think Favre can have a field day. Now, they're very conscious of monitoring those reps again. He only had 29. He had a lot of production in 29 throws. They don't want him in the 30s and near 40 reception, or, you know, throws if they don't, if they can get away with it. I think there's opportunities to run, but Trufant is out with a concussion probably. Yep. Wilson might be out with a concussion. So the field day you're looking for is there because there's more than Rice. We've got Harvin and we've got Visante Shank. And, and for Seattle, it's a team that last week, you know, had an opportunity to go into Arizona, had a 10-point lead, had a 14-point lead, built mm -hmm. a 14-0 advantage, could not hold on. How far away are the Seahawks in terms of personnel from getting back to that yeah. elite level, at least in the NFC West? Well, I don't think they're close to being an elite football team. They're not very good up front in the offensive line. They struggle with protection issues. They've lost their left tackle for the year, maybe for his career. But, you know, Matt Hasselbeck, and this is where Brad Childress does have some concerns. He's willing to throw the ball 40 times a game. He's been over 300 yards passing two weeks in a row. They're fully expecting this team to come in and throw, throw, throw. And why does it concern Minnesota? Because they give up over 300 yards passing. So there's going to be two teams throwing the ball. I think Seattle throws the ball a lot more. Little Four sets the running back right now. He's an interesting character, but they're not going to lean on him to try to beat this team. Yeah, it'll be, it adds a little different dimension than Julius Jones. Yes. He's definitely quick. He's got some, he, obviously, the guy in the kickoff returns, mm -hmm. um, but he's not the guy that's going to beat Minnesota. You're going to have to throw it. They to need that. to push the ball down the field, yeah. Burleson and those guys, and I don't think they can stay up with the kind of scoring. When you think about Minnesota, they're 29 points a game at home. Now, they give up 22 points a game at home, so there's going to be a high scoring affair here, I think. Um, but I still like the Vikings by yeah. more than a touchdown. More than a t that's going to be the theme of Week 11 from Pat. More than a touchdown. It's 1 p.m. Eastern. For more on this game, stay with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any Tyson's the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take, Take care, care, folks. folks.